Welcome back to the channel. We are here April 22nd. This is going to be the DraftKings breakdown for April 23rd. Friday is the end of the week. Going into the weekend, we have a seven-game slate um, on DraftKings ahead for you guys. Some solid matchups here. Uh, Boston and Brooklyn is going to be a banger. Um Denver against Golden State is going to be nice. Memphis is going to be Memphis and Portland is going to be a scrappy one too. Portland's in a must-win situation. They're you know three three games in a row losing and they're they're just slipping down the standings. Uh, let's hop into tomorrow's slate. We got some injuries with Trey Young, so that leads into value for some of those guys on the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, KD could be back, which is another boost. Uh, Lujens Dort might be back if he's out. Um, then there's a, uh, you know, someone else that pops up for value for you guys. But let's zero in on the point guard position, starting off with Darius Garland, 6,800 um, point guard for the Cleveland Cavaliers, going up against the Charlotte Hornets, who don't play much defense. And um, their tandem of uh, Terry Rosaire and Devontae Graham, um, obviously going up against this tandem of Darius Garland and Colin Sexton. I like Garland in this game, man. This man has been on fire. Just stay in that 30 range, that high 30 range, and even some upside um, against Chicago that we've seen. So uh, against Charlotte, this is definitely a game script where he can definitely pull it off. He's already had two games against his team and, and gotten you 39 DK, well above his average um, as you can see, 31.4 and 31.9 um, home and away. Against Charlotte, he does better. So we're, I'm expecting a 39, maybe 40-plus bomb from Darius Garland, and I like him at that price at 68. Next is going to be Svi uh, Milacic. I, I don't know how to say his last name at all. I know he used to be a Detroit Piston. Um, he used to be a bum. Now he's kind of he's kind of okay. He's kind of decent. Kind of decent now. Um this is all up to Dort. If Lugens Dort is out, then Svi is going to be a lock. He should get all the minutes here, as you saw what he did against Indiana Pacers. Uh, just keeping the team very close, two for five from the three-point line. Took a ton of shots, 16, got 20 and nine rebounds, almost a double-double, four assists, and two blocks, which was a surprise. Um, that kind of production at that cheaper price, and they lowered it from 39 to 38. Um if he is, if he's going to get the start, you got to lock him in. So I like his V at the shooting guard position. Um, another point guard is going to be Brandon Goodwin. Um, I spoke about him a little bit earlier. Give a little snippet, uh, that Trey Young is going to be out. He's going to be out for a week with a little, uh, ankle sprain. And Brandon Goodwin is going to step in, uh, as the leading point guard for this team. There were some situations earlier this season where he's had some minutes. You see 37 minutes against Toronto, got you 32 DK and, uh, another 37 minutes against Charlotte got you a 35 DK. So, the upside is there. It's a better, a little bit better matchup than what the Knicks provided. Miami, you think they're a very good defensive team, but they have been sputtering out of control. Are they? Do they play better with Jimmy Butler or without Jimmy Butler? It, it's just, it's just insane how they acquired these guys and they, they suck. They suck. So Brandon Goodwin at 3,400 is a lock. So you got two cheap guys in that 3K range. If things work out perfectly, Svi at 38 and Goodwin at 34. And then another higher price point guard, shooting guard eligible player is going to be Reggie Jackson. Um, he's going to be the leading point guard for the LA Clippers with Kawhi Leonard being out. Paul George should be back, but um, it's going to be between Reggie Jackson um, Paul George and Eva Kazubak is going to be running this offense for the Clippers. Um, I, I like him at this price at 5,600, getting minutes where it should be in that 30, 30 range. Um, and it should be easy buckets going up against the Houston Rockets who don't put up much of a fight. They're tanking. They're done. Um, unless Christian Wood really, you know, outperforms, then that's the only way this game kind of stays close. But Reggie, Reggie Jackson, um, starters minutes at 5,600 is a lock. Next is going to be 
Um, Kyle Anderson we have at 6100 and his price has been fluctuating up and down. This one, the reason why I chose him, Valachunish, I, I believe should be out. Let me see if that is uh, factual because I did see that on my Discord a little earlier. Um, I have to scroll up. Mm, we're waiting, we're waiting. Yes, he's going to be out tomorrow. So I just checked my Discord. Balotrunas is going to be out. So they they might be playing some more small ball, but there's going to be minutes to go around for the Grizzlies. He's a small forward, power forward combo. Tillman should get some minutes. I don't know if Brandon Clark is in or out. Let me see if we get an update on him. Um, he should be back. So this is another guy to look forward to, Brandon Clark, with Valachunas being out. So I like Valachun. I mean, I like uh, Kyle Anderson at 61. And if you need a big, you, I like Brandon Clark at that 3,900 range. And then the other big that they do have for the Memphis Grizzlies is going to be Xavier Tillman. He has some nice upside. Performed very well against the Clippers. Got you 28 minutes, uh, 30 DK. And then Denver really showed up. 41 minutes, 7 to 12 shooting, 18 of 14 rebounds. Nice double double right there. Can hit the three. Um, I watched him in college. So I, I think he has some type of, he has a, a nice, nice upside. He's like that Isaiah Stewart type of upside. Um, though we have some young centers coming up in the ranks. Uh, I like both of those guys. Next at power forward is going to be Darius Baisley back from injury, um, getting well acclimated back into the office. 38 minutes, 37 minutes against Indiana, uh, 26 and nine and 26 and seven and back to back games, uh, giving you some assists, uh, sprinkle in some steals. The, the 40, the 40 bombs are there. Uh, if he just knock knock down, you know, thirty percent of his three pointers, he could really be, you know, heading towards that fifty marker if he was a little more consistent in that area. But he is taking a ton of shots, nineteen and twenty five in back to back games. That is absolutely insane. Now going up against Washington, who is absolutely horrible on the defensive side of the ball and are very small now with injuries with Rui Hachimura, uh, and obviously Tomas Bryant. It's just decimated with injuries. Basley's young uh, and hungry, and it's very active. They're very aggressive now, taking the ball to the lane and getting to that free throw line. I like what I see out of him. And then last but not least, Kevin Love, 6,500 at the center position. Uh, this man... Uh, it was uh, very up and down at the beginning of the season, season uh, injuries and playing behind Drummond and other bigs that they had. Uh, but now he is back getting uh, well acclimated to his minutes. And they were he, he had a little cap like around that 20, 25 minute range. Now you got 30 minutes, 30 minutes and 26. He should take full advantage of the smaller Charlotte Hornets team. And he could be raining threes. He can be, you know, scrapping around the boards, putting up points, uh, being a facilitator as well, because he does have that type of game with the assists, um, which is a little bit of a surprise as well. But. 6500 is too cheap. He's going to stay at this price. Then I'm taking full advantage of it, especially in a favorable matchup. Kevin Love at 65 is uh, one of my top centers for tomorrow. Uh, next, let's look at FanDuel and see if we can find the value. All right, Reggie Jackson was the first guy. 5500 on FanDuel compared to 56 So you're saving $100 on, on FanDuel. I like him there. Uh, next, we're going to look at Darius Garland, 72 So he's above that 7 k price. Cheaper on DraftKings. I, I'd rather you lean to him to, on, on there. But he is viable on both sides if you... If you don't mind going above that $200 price, um, values right here, Brandon Goodwin at 5K. They didn't really move his price down like DraftKings did since Trey Young um, is now gone. But those two games that Trey Young was gone, Brandon Goodwin stepped up and really um, got you your money's worth. So 5K. I'm fine with it, but it's even better on DraftKings. He's a lock on DraftKings. Fee is uh, 4,800 compared to 3,800 on DraftKings. Both viable. Now, this, like I said, predicated on Dort's injury news. If he is out, yes, that's another lock. So you got two locks already. If, um, well, 
one guaranteed. The second one is a maybe. But if everything goes right, you got two value guys on DraftKings that are very, very cheap. Kyle Anderson is $200 more on FanDuel compared to DraftKings at 6300 The peripherals are what you're going to look for. He can score. Um, there's going to be injuries. They might look for him to score a little bit more as well um, to help John Morant. Kyle Anderson can get you some points, get your rebounds, and he is a nice facilitator and really bumped up his three-point shooting, which is a big surprise. Uh, next, Darius Bates. Is 6,700 compared to 64, so a little bit more expensive on FanDuel, but the matchup equals money, and it is a definite great matchup going against the Washington Wizards. And then, last but not least, is going to be Kevin Love, uh, power forward, power forward, power forward eligible on FanDuel center on DraftKings, 6,200, nice cheap price, uh, lower cost on FanDuel. So I really like him there on uh, on FanDuel. So that is tomorrow's core. Let me know how you feel. I mean, you, I, I think it's pretty solid with the matchups that we got. Uh, hopefully we'll find out more news on it. The injury front, comment down below. You know, if you have any other questions, I'm here to answer. If you can see my previous videos, I have no problem getting to, to the people that, you know, ask questions. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MessageSD. And I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Peace out.